world record holder. Yeah. <laughs> How does that feel? Oh, first I want to thank God because uh, we did not come for a world record. Or for us, Kenya, we came for for Charles for Paris, and uh, when good have ask for a world record then for me i decided to say let me try to go with her to see how the body is because i feel my body was not bad and i see it, i was capable to run a world record so when i see good have drop a, a bit then i say let me try to push to see how it's go so when i go for the last two laps i just get motivated and say i'm in a world record base so let me push the last the last 400, and I thank God I ran a world record. It was not a plan. I just say, let me try to follow good enough. I, I did not plan for a world record. Why did you decide to run the 10,000 here? You usually just run the 5,000. Yeah, I just came to run 10,000 to get qualification together with position for, for for Paris, because I want to double 5 and 10. Do you plan to run the 10,000? Yeah, I'm going to double five and ten. Yeah. This has clinched your spot. It's your first Olympic team. So how does it yeah, feel this, to know that you've got a guaranteed spot at the Olympics? For me, I'm happy because for the first time to be in an Olympic team, and I know with good health and hard work, I know I'm going to medal again in Olympic, and that will be my favorite medal in Olympic because. Yeah. Yeah, I knew I saw good have drop a bit. You know she was the one who requested for our world record. So I did not want to disturb her. I wanted her to go with her own world record. But when I saw she drop a bit then I say let me try to go and see if I can push and maybe she can follow me. So when I saw she drop and I get motivated again and say let me go and try for our record too. Yes. <laughs> I I was even not know how I will run at ten thousand because my last ten thousand I think I ran in twenty eighteen, twenty nineteen or twenty twenty in Nairobi. In Nairobi. Yeah. So this is my first ten thousand outside the country. Yeah, you know I I loaded in 10,000, so what give me to just believe in myself in 10,000 track is if I can do good in 10,000 in cross country, why cannot do in track again? So I just say, let me come and try and see if I can run good. But in my mind, I my body was good, so I knew I was, if I am not going to run a world record, of course I will run a 28 to just to qualify for Paris. It's extra sweet to get the record given that you race good off in that world record race here in September in the 5,000. Yeah, yeah. We raced together and she won a world record of 14.00, then I came a second with 14.05. And I was happy for her because this is a competition and today I won a world record, tomorrow someone can come and break it. Yeah. When you hugged her at the end, what did you tell her? Yes. When you hugged her at the end, what did you say? She was even happy. She told me, you are the best, you are strong. This is championship, and we have to accept what's come out. So I just, I'm, for me, I'm happy to race with her because when I race with good love, I can run a personal best, I can run a good race. So sometimes it's good to race with such a good friends. What does it mean for Kenya to have the 10,000 meter world record? Yeah, it's good because at long last we go home again with a world record for 10,000 because you see marathon, they take a, Ethiopia take a, again and again 5,000. We had a 5,000 by faith, then good have come and take it. So for me, I'm happy to hold a record of 10,000. Yeah. Now that you have the world record at 10K, are you anticipating that you'll be trying to double up with the 5K and 10K for future major championships? Of course, I'm going to double in Paris. I'm going to run 5,000 and 10,000, but 5,000 come first. So I'm just going to focus first in 5,000, then 10,000 come. Yeah.